boys and girls, I want you to get with your language partner. Arnold, I will pair you up with somebody. Facing up at the pocket chart. We've been working on measuring. We've been working on measuring how long objects are and how much they weigh, okay? So today, we're gonna practice our smart math words for measurement. And we are going to continue to compare different objects. Today, our objects are animals for language study. Okay? So let's think. Our sentence is, the blank is blank than the blank. Hmm. I'm thinking, here's our smart measurement words. Wider, narrower. What's narrower. This is the narrowest part of my body, and then it gets wider. Oh, so like, so like the skinny part of your body, or the road, is the narrow part. And then, it starts then it gets wider. wider. Mm -hmm. So wider, narrower. You guys know this one? More, More longer. longer. I'm trying to think of an animal that is longer than another animal. Hmm. Let me see. Snake. That's exactly what I was thinking. Ah, I got it. The coral snake is longer than the earthworm. earthworm. Let's read this. The coral snake is longer than the earthworm. Because that one, that one goes in the dirt, and that one can't because, uh, be, because, because it's, it's, it's big, it can't even go in, in, in there. But we're talking about it being longer. Is the snake longer than the earthworm? Yeah, yes. The seahorse. Who thinks that they can come up here with their partner? and make a sentence using our smart math words that make sense. Kevin and Haley, what sentence can you make that would make sense using our smart math words? Sometimes mm -hmm. it helps if you just pick an animal. The tuna. Good job, Haley. The tuna is what? Why? So, so read what you have so far. The tuna is wider than the... Looking at it, Kev. I know. Can you get it? Okay, now read your sentence to the class. The Kevin, scooch back some so they can see. Haley, read it too. The tuna is wider than the coral What do you guys think? Yeah. Is the tuna wider than the coral snake? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes it is. Good job. Read what you have so far, girls. The ostrich is taller than the Nikita, read it, please. The ostrich is taller than the You're each going to get an animal, and you need to complete your sentence using our smart math words and the two animals that you get. Monica, can you model it with me? Come stand up here. So Monica gets the kangaroo, and I have the seahorse. So Monica, what sentence can we make using our two animals. Do you want me to go first? Okay. The kangaroo is taller than the seahorse. 
Okay, can you think of another sentence using these two animals that would make sense? Here's our math words. The kangaroo is taller than the seahorse. That's what we just said, right? Can you think of another one, Monica? A different one? What if we started with the seahorse? The, the seahorse is smaller than the kangaroo. Do we agree? Yes. Okay, do you know what you're going to do? Yes. Okay, sit knee to knee. So girls, can you think of a sentence to use? Can you say it again a little bit louder so Nikita can hear you? The spider is smaller than the ostrich. Okay, Nikita, can you think of a sentence? It is wider than the bald eagle. The bald eagle is... shorter than the sheep. The duck is wider than the frog. Is this wider than the frog, or, or is the, or is the frog wider than the duck? It is in the duck. So the frog is wider than the duck. Do you agree with him, Mario, or do you disagree? Do you think that the frog is wider? Joseph, is the frog wider? Then the duck? The. How big is a frog, Joseph? Use your hands. About how big do you think a frog is? Show us with your hands. How big is a frog? I know. This. Like that? Now, Mario, how big is a duck? You keep your frog hands here. How big is a duck, Mario? Like this. So. So the duck is wider than the frog. Marcelino. And Monica said, the great white shark is blank than the harbor seal. Thumb to your chest if you think you know what smart math word they put in their sentence. The great white shark is blank than the harbor seal. Thumb to your chest if you think you know. Haley? The great white shark is wider than the harbor seal. Hmm, is that what you guys used? No, but does it make sense? Yes. Thumb your chest if you know another word that would make sense there. Jocelyn. Larger. Read the sentence. The great white shark is larger than the harbor seal. And you know what I like? You used larger, and we don't have larger up here. Can we put bigger there? And I'm going to write larger so that we can add it onto our math words, Jocelyn. Look at how many different words, That's different math words that I made I sense. Good job. Are we ready to use it in our math now? Yeah. 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 You guys were practicing comparing animals using our math words. Now, are we ready to compare using our math bags? Um, yeah. So let's yeah. see. I am gonna reach into the mystery math bag and I pulled out a marker. Nikita, can you stand up here with the marker? <laughs> and I reached into the mystery math bag and I pulled out a small bear. Arnold? <laughs> I need to think of a sentence using our smart math words, Mario, that compare the marker and the small bear. <laughs> so let's think about what would make sense. Haley? The small bear is shorter than the marker. 
Let's all read this, please. The small bear is shorter than the marker. Can we think of a sentence that would make sense when we compare the ruler and the spoon? Can you two think of a sentence? Mm. Jocelyn, you've uh huh. Go ahead. The ruler is is bigger, longer, longer than the spoon. Do you agree with that, Gina? Yeah. So the ruler. You are going to get your math bag, okay? In your mystery math bag, there are different objects for you to compare. Here is a list of everything that's in your math bag, okay? This will help you with your spelling. This isn't a spelling test, okay? It's for you to practice your comparing. So here's a list of everything that's in your math bag, Arnold. And then here is your worksheet. Your worksheet is exactly like what we did right up here. So Nikita would pull out um, an object, stay there, and Arnold would pull out another object. And what are they going to do? Compare, compare them. And what words are they going to use to compare them with? The what? What words are they going to use to compare them with? Ma the math words. And where are our math words at? Right up on our chart. Yes? What's compare? Compare means that you are talking about the two objects together. Yes, yes. So this is taller. The paintbrush is taller than the note card. I'm comparing their height. Are we ready? You have balances on your tables. You can compare the weight. Is one heavier than the other? Is one lighter than the other? Are we ready? Let's see which math partnerships are ready. The ruler is, is longer than the paintbrush. How do you know, Haley, Wendy, how do you guys know that the, the ruler is longer? Because it looks shorter. Because this is shorter and this is longer. Smart. Okay, so what are you guys going to write on your worksheet? The ruler is longer than the paper. Okay, good job. What's the same? But how would I say it? Mm, okay, well, let's think about it. So the cube is what you just said. Wait. What did you just say? The cube is the, the, is the same. The same weight. So we have a totally different sentence here, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, this is totally different than what we have on our on our sentence frame, Mario. The cube is the same weight as the Mario and Ernie weighed their cube and their eraser and they noticed that it is the same, Gina. It's the same weight. So the cube is the same weight as the eraser. So our sentence frame only works when the things are, when the objects are different, not when they're the same. So we would have a different sentence frame if they are the same. So I want you guys looking for things that are different when you compare them using this sentence frame. The ruler is taller than the ten sticks. How do you know? That could be the other How do you know? Because the ruler is... How can you show us? Wait one second. See that? So which one's taller? Ruler. The ruler? Which one's shorter? The ten stick. Okay, so what is your sentence going to be? The ruler is taller than the ten stick. stick. Do you agree? Okay, go ahead and write that down. How are you going to compare these two? Are you going to weigh it? Is there another way to compare it? 
Well, no, hold on a second because I have a question about how you put your ruler on the balance. I would try it like sideways like that and see if it'll balance. That one has slits on the side so you can, if you turn the ruler sideways. Here you go, Monica. Not the same size. It's the same? Do you guys agree with Liam? What do you guys think? Yeah. Monica, how would you how would you say it? How would you say it, Monica? Okay, so he switched it. Moises switched it and he said the die is lighter. What were you doing? Thumb to your chest if you can share out what we were doing. Cynthia. Comparing. We were comparing. Who has a smart math word in their head that they used when they were comparing? Who has a smart math word? Monica. Lighter. Your partner's helping you out. Lighter. Lighter than. If it's lighter than, the balance goes yeah. up. Hmm, who's got another smart math word? Mario? They said lighter than. Do you have another smart math word, Mario? Heavier than. Ernie and Mario, you guys discovered something different today when you were experimenting with your math bags. Ernie, what was it? What did you find? The eraser and the cube are the same. The same weight. 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 Same. So tomorrow, we need to look at what happens when things are the same. Thumb to your chest if you understand how to compare things that are different. Thumb up if you know how to compare things that are different. Thumb up. Thumb down if you're still not sure. So, so.